What's up y'all, this is The Curious One and I want to talk to you about this pin I just picked up recently. But I'm a little buzzed and feeling long-winded so go grab yourself a beer. Light you up a smoke. And sit your ass down because it's going to take me a little while. So years ago, a friend of mine got me into the EDC carry type of deal. For y'all that don't know, that's everyday carry. Uh, basically, it's people that collect knives, uh, knives, watches, uh, pins, lighters, handkerchiefs. Uh, fidget toys, all all types of stuff that you can, you know, you, you collect it and you kind of swap out what you carry every day or whatever. I, I didn't get like super huge, but I always like knives and I kind of have started getting a little bit better knives, but not like, I'm not all in yet. I'm not buying two, three hundred dollar items just to carry in a couple days a month or something, you know what I mean? Like, but I, I kind of dig it, and uh, so when you go into some public spaces, they don't want to let you carry certain types of things, so years back, I was like, all right, you know what, I need something that I can carry into a, say, a government building or areas that won't let me that want to challenge me when they see my my pocket clip you know what I mean normally what I do is I just take my knife and I and I stick it down in my pocket and then as soon as I get into wherever I'm going I put it back into my you know clip it back on my pocket and nobody inside there says anything to me about it but I was like uh, I need something you know if all else fails plus I like having a pin on me, so I bought this uh, Uzi tactical pin, and uh, back then I thought it was like really, really cool, you know what I mean? Uh, it has like a, a DNA catcher, so uh, basically it's a melon baller, and you melon ball a person, and then you have a DNA sample of that person so that uh, you can give that to the police officers and be like, yeah, this is the person that attacked me. <laughs> this, uh, this piece of skin right here or, uh, you know, piece of tissue. And at first it was pretty cool. It came with a, like a rubber piece right here that would, uh, cover this crown and it would, uh, keep it from, from like s scratching or, or sticking you. And uh, eventually it ended up falling out. I, it fell out a, a bunch of times and I found it and I put it back in. But eventually one day it fell out and I couldn't find it anymore. And it started getting kind of annoying that it was scratching me all the time. I actually haven't carried this thing in, I don't know, probably about three years yeah I probably haven't carried this thing in about three years has a screw screw thing I think I paid like 20 bucks for it it's not a bad pin I'm actually have considered just taking and grinding down the crown and then uh, shaking baking it and maybe put it back into rotation or whatever but uh, that's where I started with that Now with pins, I, I like like a really bold, like a really wide, bold line. Um, so after I stopped carrying that, I just started carrying in like the Pilot, like 2.0s or I think it was actually a 1.0. Yeah, a 1.0. I was carrying the, the Pilot 1.0s, but they got the plastic clip. And after, I don't know, like a... 
probably within like three weeks, I break the clip off and then it just falls down in my pocket and I end up throwing it out in the parking lot somewhere. I'm, you know, not happy about it. So whatever. So I started looking around on the internet, uh, trying to find a replacement for, for those breakable pins. I was like, I need something that's not going to break and that I can, I can refill, uh, whatnot. You know what I mean? So I started looking through and uh, I don't know, for some reason, I'm just like, I want like brass or copper or something, something fancy. I want something fancy. So I started looking at those pins and um, I was looking at the bolt action a lot. I liked it, but then I started seeing like reviews where the little, the bolt was broken off and whatnot. I was like, ah, I don't know. You can find cheap ones, but those are usually the ones that have the review where the bolt is broken off. And then they, uh, the, the higher, the better ones are like 60 to $120 and I'm like eh, I don't know I don't think I really want to spend that much money on them you know what I mean so I also looked at the uh the brass casing pins I like those I think you can usually find those for around 30 bucks or whatnot those are cool and I might still pick one up in the future and then uh recently I picked up this uh say CRKT Obake knife so it's uh based on a traditional Japanese knife. If you've seen my video on this knife, then you know about it. It's pretty nice. I like it. Um, and then uh, one day I started looking on uh, Amazon. I was searching pins and I ended up coming across this boy right here. And I liked it. I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. And it kind of looks like bamboo. Goes with the Japanese knife. Japanese, you know, bamboo, whatnot. Pretty cool. Uh, found a bunch of different ones, but this was the one I decided to pick up. So it came in this little box, and uh, you may have heard me say before that I... I actually like these little reusable boxes. I don't know what the heck I'm ever going to use them for, but I like them. I think it has something to do with when I was a little kid. I would see, uh, like my grandparents, they would have like like cookies and stuff that they had bought be a long time ago, but they've had that little container that it came with their, you know, like 10, 15 years because it came in a steel container that was like, just awesome you know what I mean and they'd used them for all kinds of stuff so I think it kind of has something to do with that but it came like this it's a uh, Eklon or something I don't know how to say it so it's a brass pin pretty nice I like it Now, excuse me, the reason I wanted brass or copper is because uh, after it's subjected to the elements, it'll start to take on like its own unique characteristics, um, call it patina, look kind of like that or like that. Now, I won't ever let it get that bad, but it'll get its own, like, unique coloration, and I think that'll be nice. Um, what I basically plan on doing is letting it uh, patina for a little bit, and then I'm going to go in and polish in the centers here and right directly on top of the knuckles. And uh, leave the rest kind of alone, just kind of keep it clean. And uh, I'm thinking that, that that'll make it so that the coloration will make it look a little bit more like bamboo instead of just like a 
a brass stick. You know what I mean? So it unscrews right here. And then you got your pin. So that's kind of cool. I like it. I found a couple of different ones that I liked as well. Uh, there was one that actually looked a lot more like bamboo. And actually right here on the on the end of it, it had like a 45 degree angle cut and then it was hollowed out like you had taken a, a machete or a katana or whatever you like chopping bamboo down with and uh, chopped a piece of bamboo. It looked, it looked like that. Uh, what I didn't like about that one was that it actually had a, a finish on it and then like a clear, like a clear coat which would keep it from um, taking a, a patina. And this is a raw brass. So that's why I, I chose to go with this because eventually this is gonna change its color on its own and it doesn't have to wear off some type of finish. All right, so this isn't, uh, this isn't milled out of one solid piece. It's actually a few different pieces. You have the uh, cap. The clip actually comes out of here. Like so. Screws apart here. And then you got your refill. Let's see if we can make it so you can see that. M and G double O seven point five, and then even this unscrews right here, and I'll try to put this to where you guys can see it. All right. So as you can see, it actually comes, actually breaks down into multiple pieces. And this part is supposed to be, okay, this is the lid. So that goes over there. So it breaks down into actually five pieces. Uh, I guess we'll start with things that I like about it. One thing that I like about it is that you can actually take this piece here, screw that into there, and now you have a baby pin, right? Put your clip back on there. You got a little baby pin. That's awesome. Um, of course, you would have to cut down your refill or else find a refill that fits it in a baby size. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, of course I like it because it's brass. What else? Uh, I'll probably keep it in the original form because, like I said, I want to put a patina on it. And uh, if I break it down into baby form and eventually I decide that I want to make it full size again, then there's going to be that section there that's going to not be patinaed and It'll never look right when I put it back together. Um, it's not made of one solid piece, but it is solid enough to where if all else fails and you need to hammer fist somebody in their face, it's strong enough to, 
to leave a nice mushy spot in their melon, you know what I mean? I like the fact that it's got a clip. I do wish that this hole back here was threaded so that I could put the clip on either side I wanted. Options are good. I like choice. Um, now, I think I mentioned it earlier that I like big bold lines. So this will be the first of uh, things that I don't like is that this is a 0.5. So the line isn't as thick as what I would like. I'm not sure the thickness of this. It's just a Pentel Wow. Mm, those are pretty close to about the same. But the thickness I usually like my lines is like that. I like a nice 1.0. If they could put something like this into something like that, I would be extremely happy. But I would be ecstatic if they could put something like this into something like that. <laughs> it's so whack. You get my you get my drift though. You know what I'm saying? That would be ruthless, but that will never happen. And I'm starting to go off in the weeds, so I'm going to take a second and get my head together. Another thing that I hate about it is that it unscrews forever. So you're there trying to get your pin out, right? And the person that's there waiting for you to sign something is just like, here, sir, would you like a pin? And you're like, no, bitch, I want to fucking, I want to sign it with my pin, with my pin, okay? Just wait for me to get done unscrewing this thing. I wish they would have done, um, I don't know, like two to three turns would be great. But this is a little ridiculous, you know what I mean? Like, I understand they don't want, like, it to come unscrewed while it's being jostled around in your pocket. But it's just a little much. The other thing, another thing that I hate about it is, uh, one thing that I didn't show you, is actually it comes apart into six pieces. This from here to about right there actually unscrews from here. It only happened to me once, and that was enough. When I tried to take off the cap, this whole piece right here came out with it. I screwed it back in real tight and got the cap off. Um, then I took this piece out, and I put some blue Loctite on the threads down here. Screwed it in as tight as I could, and it hasn't come back out since then. So that's just a tip for you. If you do decide to pick this up, first thing you need to do is pull that piece out. Put some blue Loctite on those threads. Make sure you don't get it on the threads up here. And screw that sucker in there real good. Make sure it doesn't come out on you again. Um, and then, of course, I told you that this hole is not is not tapped. So that's a thing that I hate about it. But you know what? This is a $10 pin. A $10 pin. Solid brass, $10. There's, I, I can't, I can't hate it. You know what I mean? It's pretty good. 
I gotta make people wait for me when I go to sign something but it's a pretty nice pen I always have it on me so it's pretty good then once I got the pen I was looking for uh, well you know what maybe uh, maybe I could use a new lighter so I picked this up it's a brass um, it's a honest brass kerosene lighter basically it's it's a zippo but in a different shape um, I made a video on this as well you can find it on my channel pretty nice I'm hoping that it is actually solid brass and then after that I was like well I need a need a coin so I started looking through stuff and um, found this guy it's not brass couldn't find a brass coin that I liked it's actually copper but I was like well it, it'll patina and uh, whenever I pull this out it's gonna piss people off so I'm in now it is made of copper it's one ounce of copper but an ounce of copper is worth like 16 cents so it's never gonna be anything more than than uh, a novelty item even if shit hits the fan you can't trade this for anything maybe well maybe a slice of bread like one slice of bread maybe I don't know I guess it all depends on what ends up being worth something if people are if they're trying to get electricity uh, up and running again maybe copper will be worth something but I doubt it anyways guys I have been rambling for 22 minutes so y'all take it easy have a good night try to stay out of trouble and uh, I'll talk at you again night